Oh god, the lag. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know I haven't posted in a long time. Well, since January, actually. But, now I am lagging. That is a bad sign. But, today we are going to be checking out the Dragon Mounts mod. I have going to do these today, and I'll upload part 2 tomorrow, actually. One second. <clears throat> Let me wait for the lag to calm down. I am using a mic with a headset, so I'm hoping that <clears throat> that actually sounds better, so... I was fine just a second ago. Well, yeah. This recording does kind of make me lag a little. I should try to close that. <clears throat> and just close all of these. Well, oh, yeah, I'll leave a link to the mod in oh, okay, in the description. But today we have the forest dragon, storm dragon, zombie dragon, skeleton dragon, ice, ender, nether, aether. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <clears throat> and water. I built the habitats for all of them already, because the reason there's two blocks high, I just don't want them jumping out. Once they hatch. Oh yeah. The water one. I was thinking about fully submerging it, but then... There it goes. Okay, so I don't have my damage indicator mod on, so I can't see when they're about to hatch. Oh no, I didn't make one for the forest dragon. I'll just put it over there. But, zombie dragon goes in here. Let me just dig it. And the only like bad part about the mod is that you like kind of have to build a habitat, or it'll turn into a different dragon while it's still hatching. Like I've had that problem with many of these. They'll just switch. Skeleton dragon goes in here. Put the bones. Ice goes in here. I love my shop. Oh. Ender Dragon comes with this. Magma Nether Dragon goes with this. And either I'm not really sure about. But yeah, there's no actually either block. So just using this slight blue, blue concrete. Yeah. Also, another reason that's a little bit laggy because I have this house on a different computer and I just transferred it over and it's still like having time loading everything. So it was a lot better earlier than I said recording. I am going to do a part on the Iron Man video. I know I haven't got to it yet. I actually did get to it, but, um, yeah. If you watched it before I deleted it, yeah. But if you did it, it's fine. I'll go to the Well, yeah. 
just waiting till they hatch. The reason I have it in the dark is for the zombie dragon. Cause like, I'm gonna these like to change. I have to keep an eye on them. Like one time I had the zombie dragon turn into the forest dragon. You can get the Ender Dragon the same way. The Ender Dragon egg the same way. All you have to do is kill the Ender Dragon. Now you can actually take that egg. And things will like spawn across like kinda like meteors. If you Yeah. Well yeah. Well I went to this house. I'll show you guys a few rooms while I'm waiting for them to hatch. Oh yeah. I also forgot. I need fish. This is how you tame that. I'm gonna be uploading a few videos in the next few days because I'm trying to make up the videos I missed. See, look, they're so laggy. I want to. Now it is. Pushable while they're in egg form, and they also do have an specific armor. Oh, guess he's full. I guess they're all full. And yeah, let me show you the armor. I'll do an armor thing in a different video because there's actually a lot. Like, they have shields, tools, a lot. And yeah. But what I need right now is the dragon armor. <clears throat> I put armor on them because I do. They look better with it, in my opinion. But, yeah. Also, I need the amulet. Did they come in there right now? <clears throat> the amulet is based. Oh, a gender gem. I need that. The amulet lets you basically. Like store them, but only one can fit per amulet, <clears throat> which makes sense. Let's do dragons. You can also ride on them, so. <clears throat> and honestly, if you wanted to, you could probably fight the Ender Dragon with your dragons. <laughs> that would be really cool. I really need to just make this stair compatible. Obviously. My flying doesn't want to. Oh, so 
felt to drag it. See, the reason I didn't just like drop the water dragon in water, I started like thinking it would die. Also, I forgot to feed it. And it like crashes me every time. So, I just decided not to do it. I've played around with these mods a few before. So, I kind of know what they look like. There's a few I need to continuously check on. Ah, see, it switched. Dang it. Oh, oh yeah. The sword. They're really stubborn. I do remember that. But uh, it, the zombie one's pretty hard to spawn, so let's go look at eggs. Look at these. Trying to find it. So once the others hatch, I can just spawn this one. Zombie. So it doesn't want to seem to work for me. Oh, uh, okay. I think... No, it changed. Dang it. What is that? Terra? I believe? Eh. And guess what? My Aether Dragon. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna let those hatch. I'll just spawn the rest in. Ooh, let me check on my water. Oh, water's doing fine. Let me try turning it today. Maybe that'll help. Probably should have just. It was a nether dragon. Yeah, I probably should have just put nether. But. Either way. I just don't want to be spawning duplicate dragons. That's the only thing I don't want. Not to find it either. No, I see it. You'll see what the gender switching is for. And... Now I feed them. To make them... I don't know how they can feed inside of an egg, but I'd love to question it. They have eaten. Your egg needs to be fed one. And yeah. 
I have a lot of pools in this house, so. Okay. Oh, is there a fire in my house? Oh, the oh yeah, that's the fireplace. I haven't been in this house for a while. Okay. They will start shaking when they're about to hatch. But just to speed this up. I know that there's a way to. Yeah. Try again. to the water, hoping my game doesn't crash. Because the water is the most crashing or Please don't crash. Oh, thank God I didn't crash. Why? How do you get out? Come here, little buddy. I know how to sneak up and approach them. They'll approach you. Come here! Come here. So they approach. Have a job when I stand up. Oh my god, this is dragons. Oh sweet, fall back in his cage. Sweet. Love how I can't jump. No, you just say one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just try a team. And the skeleton one's gone. The ice isn't. I think they're eating it. I can't hear. Really, because my volume is down. On my mic, but. Come here. Oh, there it is. Oh. 
Did this thing just walk through the wall? Oh yeah, I forgot. They don't like each other. Oh no. Enter. No fighting. I want them to come to me. Let me just try to tame them. Dragon. Tame. Oh, sweet. Hey. Actually, we just need a duplicate of this real quick. And let me just put you in there. Damn, I just got me once. Also just tame them using fish, but um, yeah, I haven't done it in a long time, so I kind of forgot how you do it. But I think all you have to do is just to crouch and let them come to you, but they weren't coming to me, so I'm going up to them. Catching you guys in my ambulance. Last one is the water dragon, and he got out, of course. Gotcha. Before you run away, I'm lying like crazy. Okay. That's all for these amulets. Now, let me just set them in here. Oh, I place these. The one 
would still be lost. Oh, I may or may not have forgot to. And look. Just. I'll never see the lights of it again. I should really just hatch them when I first get them, but... Eh. Oh well. Hmm. I feel like we're missing a dragon. Oh yeah, I still haven't spawned these. Please don't be a doll. See, this is just to, like show off the mini ones. In the next video, I will show off the others, and you can watch. Grow up and fight some mobs, cause that's what Minecraft is all about. I do want to do something else. Yeah. Once they grow up, I'll use the gender gem on them. It actually, like, makes sense. So, eh. Yeah. That's it for this video because I don't want to get it so long. And this is Diamond Boy, and I am out.